Good morning, everyone. I am Corinne Braxton, and I'm coming to you live from Bozeman, Montana. I'm sorry about it being a few minutes late. I forgot to get my laptop set up, and it was in my bedroom. And so it just took a few minutes to get, hey, Jan, good to see you. Keep sending messages. Tell us where you're from and uh, give us hearts and thumbs up. And that all helps uh, the analytics. So let me see if I can find myself now. And, you know, it takes a few minutes to boot up. So um, I had a just sort of surging. Hey, Kathy, good to see you. I'm glad I'm in there. I'm, you probably were panicking. I haven't seen you for a couple of weeks. Last week, Terry and I went to um, the, our ranch in Idaho. Thanks for the hearts and the thumbs up. You girls are special. Hey, Lisa, good to see you this morning. Let's see, there I am. I can see myself on the laptop. Let's see if our trans... Ranch in Idaho. Thanks for the hearts and the thumbs up. Nice now I have to get the, the volume turned off. The there, there we go. There, now I'm all set. I can relax, hey Jan. Um, so we had a really good week. Uh, we just, and well, we weren't there a week. We were just there four days. So we were we had a really nice time and uh, it was really fun. We brought our neighbors with us and it was just a delightful trip. The weather is super nice. It's warmer than it is in Bozeman, um, but you have to fly in. Hey Linda, good to see you. And Cindy this morning in Colorado. Good to see everyone. Um, anyway, we had a really, we had a, you have to fly in a little tiny 206 Cessna four passenger and it was just a delightful, it was so refreshing for me. Uh, relaxing time. Um, anyway, then I had a card class on Saturday, a vellum and technique class, which is wonderful. Such a fun technique. I think you can see some of my pictures back, or the cards back there. Um, and this week I have um, the Christmas Barn class coming up on Thursday. I think I have one spot left in person, and then I have a, I have kits to ship also. I want to tell you just a few things before we start. I'm, I have a really, I love the cards that we're doing this morning. Um, they're really neat, I think. So, well, I try to, try to make neat cards each, every week. But I want to tell you, Stamping Up has a couple new things. You know, the kits collection, there's a new one called... Um, birthday card organizer. I'll try to show it to you next week. Mine should be here today, but um, they just came out with that last week and it looks really neat. It has cards and then pockets for each month. That looks really neat. Then we have the big special for October is the Starter Kit Plus. And that is really one great deal. Now, I always tell anyone that the best deal in the whole Stamping Up catalog is the starter kit. Any time of year, you normally get, you pay $99 to become, to buy the starter kit and join Stamping Up, and you get 20, you get $125. But this month, that's even better. For $99, you get to choose $155 in product, plus you get a free paper pumpkin, free shipping, free catalogs, and you get to be part of our team. So it's always wonderful to have new people joining our team. So I would love to have you. Um, this is good until October 31st. So anyway, that's the Starter Kit Plus. It is a great deal. We just began our stamping up year, and there's not a better time to join them with this, this special. So, okay, and then you get, and you know, I, I know many of you who are on here, are my demonstrators and you get 20% and as you work up to Bronze Elite, you get 25 and there's that's a lot of percent. Um, that's just makes for happy stamp, stampers. So you can become a business person, but most people don't. They just are hobby demonstrators and they really enjoy the discount. But anyway, call me, talk to me, email me, text anything, and I will talk to me, with you about that. I'd love to. Okay, I think we're ready. To start, I'm going to bring my little table closer. I was in such a little panic there. Um, okay, let me see what's here. Let's turn the turn turn you around. Close your eyes. There we go. And we have a barn class coming up this week, and these are two cards that are in it. They're just a, it's such a fabulous set. I really, 
Um, I love the barn we had a year ago in 2021, 22, and it was beautiful and the beautiful gray papers. But this barn is really fun. It has a lot of die cutting pieces. So that's what we're doing this week. And this is a little treat favor. These are these little boxes that are in our catalog. And I just put a belly band so you can slip it off. <laughs> Hopefully you can slip it off like this. And then there are the boxes and they open up there like this. And you can put a little goodie in there. Um, they're just a little thing to focus the camera on and show you what we're working on. And so today we are going to be doing this card. And it is a faux. Do you see that? Oh, there's something in the back. Do you see how it stands up like this? I'll sort of flatten it out so you can see it better. It's it's really fun. Um, you can see you can find tons of directions on the internet. Um, I particularly liked uh, I like the bones of of the ones that I'm going to be making today. So, um, so I thought this was really a neat thing to use. I saw an idea that Tammy White had, and it was using a sidestep, but it was a full blown sidestep card. Now I used to make sidestep cards a lot. Oh, maybe 10 years ago and there's a lot to them a lot of die cut a lot of cutting and um but we're going to do the faux system and i think this is a terrific so get your i will have the directions all written out for you but at the end one of the video and i'll i'll post those when i after i take pictures and things but i want to i will also so if you want to do this sooner i have measurements all written out like this so because it takes me a little bit of time um, after the video so we're going to start with a five and a half five this is espresso we're going to have there's two parts to this base faux means fake so instead of um instead of doing a card in the old way of doing the regular uh, step cards, you'd have to you'd have to cut, and then you'd have to do some creasing, some, um, and then you'd have to. It was just complicated, and this is so so simple. Except now I've lost my stylus on the floor here. Okay, found it thankfully. Um, but you know, I'm going to tell you something else. I love my scoreboard. Um, but you know that there is, there's an attachment that goes um, on here. And that's a style, there's a stylus too. I don't have mine in there, but, cause I like to use the sticky end, but um, I have several of those. But if you ever need an extra stylus that, that comes with the stamp, uh, pick your, stamp your, pick your, what's it called? <laughs> what is this? The take a pick, take a pick, that's it. Okay, we are going to score this at First of all, I cut it. It's five and a half by eight, and I'm gonna score it. And notice that eight. That eight, normally we have five and a half by eight and a half. So you have to just cut off a little bit there, and that'll make this a perfect card that will fit in your envelope. I'm gonna score at three, six, and seven. There we go. And then we're just going to fold it up like a step, like this. I'm going to put that down on the floor again. This We need two parts to our base. We need that one, that's the main part. And then we need another piece that is six inches by three inches. And I scored it at four and a quarter. And that's going to be the faux part. So I'm going to take my bone folder Give it a really, really good crease here. I am just loving these. You know, for a while I have not had not made any, and um, and then this is going to go on like this. It's going to it's going to make it look like it's a step card, but it's a full one. You can put your this piece on. You can put it on the end. You can put it in the middle, or you can put it on that side, which is sort of cool. So. I'm going to just put those directions over there so when I get this all typed up, 
um, you'll have it. Now we're going to have a few more pieces of direct, a few more directions. Um, we're going to have a sky. This is from the starry. Let's see, where did I do? What would I do with that? Oh, here it is. I've got a table full of things next to me here. We are using, in both of our cards today, we're going to use sun prints. And this is in the annual catalog. And look at this. Isn't that a beautiful? It's, it's, it's sort of a motley looking. It almost looks like clouds. Um, and it's just a beautiful set of paper. So we're using both of these. I'm using the one that looks like a sky. And it's two and three fourths by four. Let me see if I can, I, I can't see direct, I can't see. Oh, hey, Carla, good to see you this morning. So this part is going to go right here, and I'm going to just put that away so I don't lose it, interfere. Okay, and that's going to get um, adhered right there. I just think this is a, on the back of it, it has the beautiful the sun prints. Um, when we were little... I don't know how we did this, but we used to make some prints outside. We put leaves on paper. I don't know how we, photo paper works really well. Um, anyway, but that's what we did when we were kids, but we don't think we used photo paper. I'm not sure what we used. Um, then I've got, I've got a piece of white. This is the glitter, uh, white glit. Well, it's really glimmer. It's in our catalog and it is a deal, I think. Love it. It comes, it's only $5, and you get all these sheets. You get red, real red, and white, and this is all I have. I've used a lot of my white already, and I've used a little bit of, I'm use red. But it's a. It's in the mini catalog. It's, it's really a neat, I use, I love that size. I love that six by six size. So this white glitter I'm going to put on the back, and it's going to, what I want it to look like is, do you see here how I put it? You don't see part of it. Um, but I thought this time maybe I would try to make it a little different. There's going to be a hill there, but we could also, I, I could take that piece and I have cut it like a, I think I'll, I'll do that. We'll see. I've not done this before, but, and so we'll just put this on and so you're going to do a basic, I just took a scissors and just hand cut it like that. Now I am going to, because anytime you're using glitter paper, it is heavier than our general, our regular cardstock. Card so I am going to use my Seal Plus. Anytime I need, I use my Seal Plus heavy duty one. Um, I'm really, really liking that more and more. And um, I'm going to just put this on here like that. And then I'm I've got another piece cut here. I'm going to just change it a little bit more. So you can just make little swoops like that. Looks like a little hill. And I'm going to pop that one up with some dimensionals. Actually, maybe I'll just, um, I think what I'll do is I think I'll just cut a piece of dimensionals. I've got, I love these. Um, I'm just going to do that. That'll work great, I think. Let me see once here. It's a little long, but um, I think that should be a little little bit too wide. I That's all right. I can just trim it down with my big scissors. Um, it's a... Big Tim Holtz scissors. Um, you think you can get those online at Amazon, or um, they're nice to nice to have. I like a large scissors at times. And I'm going to put this on right here, and I I didn't put it on right by the edge because I'm going to have my trees are going to go there. Now that part's going to get covered up. So now I and now we need a piece on the bottom, and this little tiny piece along the bottom is three and three fourths, so less, just a little bit less than an inch, and it's five inches long. And here's one that I did. I tried it with like a dirt look to it. That's the back side. Um, but we're gonna use the glitter, I think. Well, I know we are. 
So um, I'm going to just put that on like that. He was, you're probably wondering, like, where is she putting these things? These, these, he, I have my blends right here, and my I keep my adhesive, so I like to put it back each time. Um, that's what I'm doing. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is put on this part like this. Our barn is facing to the left, so I like, I would not like it if it were over here on the left side, and it it went off. I just something I learned in a photography class. I like it to look toward the middle of the card rather than off the card. So that's my thinking on that. So I'm going to use some. It's it's going to get adhered with my strong seal plus, right there, and then a little bit more. It looks like a ragged edge there. Maybe I should get it getting a new blade. Oh, things are just dropping on the floor again. Um, you know, we sell our, the blades are sold in four packs and it, you know, our blades last a really, really long time. I love our stamping up trimmer and I'm just going to put this down at the bottom and I'm just going to keep it straight right along the edge and keep and fold it like that. And it's going to just pop, it didn't quite do it right. It's going to have to. Just a little bit off. I'm going to breathe on it. Do a little hot air, and that'll help. So I'm going to fold it up like this, and now I'm going to put it like that. That's going to get covered up. I'm going to stamp something, and then we're going to put it over that. So you're going to close it and then put your piece. There we go. And now we're ready to do our stamping. So that's our the bones of our card. And now we're going to do some stamping. So I'm going to set that right there, and we're going to bring in our Stamparatus. Where do I have it? Right here. And we need to stamp a few things. So I have these all set up already. And let me see once here. We have a couple things to stamp. A label and something for the back around. These are all the stitch things for the front and back and these are photopolymers so we need our our um, piercing mat and let's see if we can just move that over a little bit and we'll bring in our We're gonna do the we're gonna do the greetings in an espresso, and we're gonna do the joy and Merry Christmas. Those two. I love the little horse and sleigh. It's really a neat stamp. Just a wonderful, wonderful set actually. This is what um, it looks like. It has some. It has. Uh, it even has dies that cut out these words. The joy, may, may joy fill your season. We're not going to do that today. It's a little hard. Merry Christmas. These shapes right here cut out all those things. And there's a fence, another fence, snowflakes, tree. I wish they had two trees. They only had one. So I had to do it several times. And then the barn. And I love the silo. You know, I, I grew up in Wisconsin. And there's to me, I love red barns. And my husband likes brown barns. And we like when we had our ranch, we've had every every ranch we've had, we've had brown barns, except one we had in Wyoming and it was red. Terry, Der, Terry did paint it. We had it painted red for my sake. And when we lived in Missouri, we lived on a farm and our we had two barns and they were red. Um, I love, love red barns. I'm going to stamp this up at the top and like that. So you have a little room to, to write your name. And then the joy one is going to go right in this pretty circle. So I love red barns. Just love, I love taking pictures of them. I love seeing them. I love it when I go back to Wisconsin and I, um, 
I see, I'm just driving and I see all these beautiful red fa farms, barns with uh, silos. Um, now we're going to do our barn and our trees. I'm going to set these up right there. should have done that first, actually, to let it dry, but I didn't. Um, so we are going to, let me see if I have this, I don't have it quite centered in the camera. It's hard for me to do that. Um, there we go. I think it's better now. I have a template I made and I, I'm, I arranged my, I cut this out and then when I die cut it, I cut it one time and then I, I die cut, oh, I have probably, I probably cut, die cut like 40 of these barns because we're going to be using this in a class. And it's very easy. You can die cut like two at a time. So I'm going to stick this when I, when it comes down, hopefully it's going to be in the right place. Put a little bit of tacky. Um, adhesive right there. I'm going to put that in there. And now I'm going to ink it up with my momentum. We're going to be, we're going to be uh, coloring with, with our blends. And they are alcohol markers. Get it nice and black. And I'm going to cover it. Bring my, oh, it's sticking, it's sticking because I have the tree on the other side. So I'm going to stand up. I'm going to actually use the heel of my hand. Get a good image. Looks really good. Now, if I wanted, I could stamp it again. Just to, I'll do with that just to show you. Give it a, and a, oops. This way you can, if you're ever doing Christmas cards or a lot of, um, or a swap or whatever you're doing. Now I'm going to take this. I'm going to just take this off because now we're going to switch to the tree. And um, but I saved this. I put this in my. I put it in my stamp set. Now we're going to do the tree template. And I I always put it right in the corner. I like to have it over toward this side a little bit, just because of these hinges right here. Stamping this. This stamparatus is uh, a fabulous tool. I use it quite a bit. And now I'm going to turn my, my uh, I'm going to actually take my barn off and put it, get by the cleaner right there. And now I'm going to flip it around because you can, you can use both sides. It comes with two, two of these plastic acrylic, uh, let's just see if that's going to, oh, I've got the pin, this uh, magnet, magnet is in the way right there. So that's going to be better. Let's just see if that's going to work. And... We're going to switch to we're get our black out again, and we're going to ink this up. It's always nice to have something underneath. I have the stamp case underneath, and uh, oops, I didn't get that one. I wonder what happened there. We'll try that again. Maybe I just didn't get it. I didn't get it inked. Okay. The beauty is you can keep doing it until you get it to the right. There we go. That looks good. And then I take your take your pick tool. It's off just a tiny bit. And put that right there. We need two of them. So I'm going to do one more. I have to find my little kit of things. Um, where did I put those? the rest of the things for today? Hmm. Let me see. I just had it here in front of me. And oh, here they are. Here they are. Some little pieces that are coming out. Yep, there we go. We've already done that, so I'll put that back in there. It's going to be but I'm missing a tree. Where is that tree? Hmm. Let me see. One's here. Oh, here it is. I have it in with all my barns. I've got a lot of. Um, so I'm going to put that tree in again. I just think it's easier than doing a lot of, you know, stamping and die cutting, stamping and die cutting. It's very time consuming to do it that way. Uh, make sure I get enough ink on there this time. And let's try that again. Great. And do you see how fast that is? I can do probably 20 or 30 trees in just a few minutes. I'm going to pull that up and then I'm going to um, save. I'll take that tree off and put it by my cleaner there. 
and I, you can just wipe this. I'm gonna take my template off. It's the magnets store below and they go right. You wanna make sure they're covered with something like I've got uh, packaging tape on them so they don't touch because they are very, very strong magnets that's stored like that. It's a great tool uh, stamping up. I, I actually was on a committee to work with that when before it was developed and when we worked on it for about a year and a half. I mean, I was just one of the people that judged it and did things like that and gave opinions. Um, anyway, it was really neat. It's a great piece of equipment. So now let's um, bring our pieces back in and assemble everything. We'll be going to do some coloring first. We're going to bring in a mat because anytime you work on alcohol uh, markers, it will show through on the other side. I haven't checked comments, so here. Um, let's see if we can see something. Hey, Becky, good to see you and Judy. Kathy, who else do we have here this morning? Uh, Caitlin, Lisa. Oh, I'm so glad, ladies. Thank you for watching. Sorry, I wasn't checking. I get it's really hard for me to do that. Okay, now we're going to do some coloring. So I already, um, I have our. This is what it looks like when it comes out. You just saw that. I pre ahead of time. I just outlined everything with red. Because it's very hard to color, red is one of the hardest colors to color with, um, so that you don't, I wanted to leave everything white around there, and uh, so I, I just, and I didn't do the best job in the world, but it's, it's okay, it's easier than when I have, uh, when I have, it, it, when I'm, because usually my head's over the, and when I'm on camera, it's not, so, I'm going to just do this fairly quickly. Take my, I've got my real red and my dark red, and I'm going to use the broad tip. And um, oh, I see, I can see I just forgot those little bits. Um, and I'm just going to do this rather fast. So we're, because we have another card to do too, but I just think this is really sort of a fun card. Um, I was really pleased. And I came up with it. I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, I always just sort of, and then things turn out quite differently sometimes. Um, anyway, we're just going to, I can always finish this up. I hit that piece. Now red is a, it's a little, it's a little splotchy and I want it to be that way. I'm going to do the doors like this, but I may do, well, I'll just do them now real quickly. Because um, it's so, I better switch to my other, the other end. The tiny, tiny end, fine tip, and I'm just going to put a little bit of red in there like that, because that white bleeds quite a bit. This is going to get covered up, but there, there we go, and that's as easy as it is. Now, you know how barns are. They have they can get really distressed. When we had our farm in Missouri, we usually had, had to have our barns painted like every two or three years. Barn painters came around and, and would do do the painting. And I'm, used, I'm just going to add some white. This is the uh, color lifter. And I'm just going to, that's just going to erase some of the color to make it look like a worn barn because that's what happens. Barns get that red um, sort of wears off. Um, you know, originally barns were painted red. I love red barns because it, they used the, there was a lot of rust on a, a farm and, or farms. That's one of the reasons, I, that's one theory. They used the rust and they mixed it into paint. And I'm going to do, um, what happened? Oh, I think I put my gray. I like to have gray roofs, but my gray is not here. Hmm. It's already packed for my class. I'm going to just leave that. Well, we can make a light brown barn. Um, we can do that, I guess that would work too. That's dark crumb cake. Wait, here's my, oh, here's my light. That's gray granite. Gray granite is sort of, we'll use that. I like smoky slate, but we'll use gray granite. Um, I like silver roofs on barns, that's just my opinion. Um, so they used rust to make the paint and uh, to paint to stain their barns. That was a theory. And then another theory was they used the blood from animals. I don't know what's really the way they did it, but 
um, it probably both ways. Then I'm going to use this little snow down here. I'm going to use some um, light pool party. But anyway... Terry, my husband, likes to have brown barns because he likes the look of a national park. Um, and he has always, or state parks, everything is painted brown. He likes that look. And um, so now I'm going to take my, again, I'm going to take that white color lifter and I'm going to just sort of almost like erase it, go in little circles around the blue, erasing it. That's going to make it sort of, you're not, it's not going to be quite so pronounced like that. And now there's our barn, and we're going to do our trees. This one got a little dark, didn't it? Um, we're going to, what did I, where did I put my brown? There it is. And uh, I've got my, oh, this is number 100. I'm just going to take a, I'm going to get really close. I hope I don't get my hair in there, but do that quite quickly like that. And then I'm going to use the parakeet party. That's a in color. Oh, the pretty. Oh, excuse me. It's parakeet party, light and dark. And I think I'll just use the dark. And I'm just going to just real give it a little. It it doesn't need much. Just real quickly. Like that. Just a little color to it. Here we go. Becky, you're up in Alaska. Let's see once. How are you doing? Aren't you? Are you? I see some wonderful pictures on Facebook that you post. Good for you. We have, we have people from all over the country on my team, which is so fun. Um, we have East Coast to the Pacific Coast. All righty, let me see. We need a little bit more green there. Okay, that's parakeet. I love one of my favorite colors. We use this a lot in my blends class the other day. That's it. And now we can just assemble and it'll be great. So I'm going to just set that aside. We're going to put our joy. Um, I'm going to put that right here. I think this will maybe pr turn out pretty nice. Let's see. We'll see how that looks that I cut that. And I'm going to fold this flat like that. You want to make sure that it doesn't come above this because this is going to fit in the envelope just fine. And we're going to put our, our barn on here. Actually, it would be really nice. I have I was hoping it would, they would come by today, but I have some of those press-on uh, stars that are in our mini catalog. I had their order, but they... Things that have not arrived yet, so I thought I had some. I was I almost swore I had some. I looked everywhere in my drawer where I keep my embellishments for them, and I couldn't find them. But now that's what may be a little overkill, but I really like to keep things from getting smashed in the mail. So I'm going to take these off with my Take Your Pick tool. So I couldn't remember. You know, there are replacements, too, um, for the sticky end. You don't need them. I mean, they really last a long time, but they there are replacements. I don't have the box. I have a, an extra one right here, but you can replace these, and it comes two to a box for replacements. That's in the annual catalog. And um, I'm going to put these, like, like, just maybe like that. And... We're going to put one tree. Oh, I meant to put this one flat. Let me see if I can still do that. Tuck it in there. If I can lift this up a little bit. It was a little bit. I meant to, to do that first. Put my tree in there behind the barn. And then the silo. Where do I have the silos? Hmm. Now here's a little bag with a silo, and I use some silver paper, silver foil. It comes in different shades, and uh, here's my silo. I'm going to put my silo in right there. I'm going to keep that. I'm just going to sort of put it piece up on one side of it. Put it in right there. I love. 
And as a little girl, we used to play in silos when, um, when um, I'd go to my grandma and grandpa's house. Both of my grandparents in Wisconsin lived on farms, dairy, all dairy farms. And um, it's pretty neat, actually, very fun childhood. And then when um, our, we lived on a farm for 25 years with red barns, our, our boys and girls played in the, I don't think they ever played in the sub, we had a silo, but, and I'm going to put this tree right here, popped it up on dimensionals like that. And they, our kids played in, in, the, in the hayloft. And our son, John, turned 39 yesterday. It was his birthday. And we always, so we in October, we always had Halloween parties up in the barn. And that was fun. We did hay mazes. You're going to see the part that I tore off because I put it in the wrong place. I'm just going to put that right there and cover that up. And that will give you a little bit of room. And there is our card. And we could put some stars in the sky or snowflakes or whatever we want, but it, I thought it might be a nice, pretty blue day, blue sky day. Um, like that. And there we have it. Oh, I forgot the fence. Forgot the fence. Where is the fence? Where is that fence? Somehow I've lost the whole bag of things that I had organized for this. Well, I don't know. We have a fence around and it's someplace because I double checked and it was here, um, but now it's not. You can see here's the fence that I had in mind. Here's the other fence that um, is also in, this, in the kit. And you could put that on like that too. That would work. It's not quite as long, um, but it's still, well, I guess it would be like that. Um, I don't like the gap right there, so I think I'll, I'll wait until I find it. I have several fences cut, so I know it's here. Okay, that's the first card, and I love the way that stands up. Really fun. Okay, let's do the next card. What do you think about that card? Um, I was just really pleased that I, I found this. Um, uh, oh, Kathy says, Kathy lives in Oregon. Kathy says, my uncle Harold manufactured silos so that the wheat did not stick to the sides. How ingenious. Um, that's cool. And he was from Wisconsin. Well, that's really a pretty neat little tip, Kathy. Thanks for sharing that. Um, so how, how do you feel? Do you like red barns? I, don't, I do have a brown barn colored someplace, but I don't know. I can't find it at this moment. So do you like red barns or brown barns? There are some barns that are yellow and some that are white. So we're going to put that over there. And so that was called Christmas Barn. And that is a fabulous set. If you don't have it, I would really recommend, you know, I have a, I did a fall card um, with some trees that I, that have sort of reds and yellows and uh, greens on it and I used uh, made a frame around it and around the barn it's a really good fall and I don't think this really needs to be I would I'm sort of uh, blocked in otherwise I'd go get it um, and I have I colored this part green because it's not like in the fall anyway I think this could be a really nice masculine birthday card it doesn't have to be Christmas um, they have Christmas greetings in there but I think it could be either I'm going to show you. This is a card I got in a swap. I thought this was really, this is sort of what inspired me. Um, this is from uh, Marsh LaFroth. Excuse me, I'm going to take a drink here. And I thought this was a great, we did this tree a few weeks ago. It's in the annual catalog, but I thought that was a great card. Do you see that, how it steps in the inside. Oh, she wrote something. That's a great place to put it. May your season be merry and bright. And we could have done that with our barn, too. We could have put something right in there. That would have been perfect. But that covered up that little boob we had. <coughs> <coughs> the next card we're going to do. So, <coughs> this may take a little bit longer today. I'd like to keep our videos to about 45 minutes, but this one's going to take a little bit longer today, but I think that's okay. And if you have to leave, that is quite okay. And I hope I don't lose parts. This one doesn't have any coloring. It's mostly stamping, and I've already done the die cutting. 
But you see how I changed this one up? I put this one sort of off to the left. This one I can put on completely on the left. And again, I, you can see I've used the Sun Prints designer paper. I see someone said red. I can't see all the comments. Um, okay, who else likes red? Who likes brown? Um, the stamps that we're using today. <clears throat> there's a lot of die cutting, as you can see. The stamps that we're using, they're, we're using some of the dies from the Nature's Harvest. Love this set. Um, it's from it's from the annual catalog, and it was in the catalog last year too. And then we're using the Season of Sheep, which is in, which was brand new this year. I love all the little die cuts. It has snowflakes too. Haven't done anything with those yet, but I will. But a really neat. We're going to use these stamps. We're going to do outline, and then we're going to stamp inside. And those are the two that we're using. And uh, and I want you to tell me, <clears throat> do you like the copper brushed adhesive dots? They come with different brass. I've used the gold. And these um, are amber, and they, they came from the... So this one I put amber, this one I put brass. This comes from the little leaves, the leaves that are in um, the mini catalog. They look like this. So this is what they look like. They, you get these leaves and all of those amber gems. Fabulous little package. And okay, we're gonna get ready to do our, our project. And we won't go, I won't show you about scoring because we're running, it's already, Somewhat, it's not late, but it's, um, time is flying by. So here is our base again, eight inches, not eight and a half, but eight by five and a half, that's important. And we're going to fold that. Let me see where it is. I'm gonna fold it like a step. Here. Both of these car cards have the same measurements. Let me see what's here. I did that wrong. Three by six. This one is wrong, isn't it? Let's see what's here. I bet I, let me just check that. And get my paper trimmer once and see what we did here, what I did here. You know, our paper trimmer opens up to the arm opens up. Let me just see if I didn't cut it. I bet I, yeah, it's eight and a, I cut it at eight and a half. Here I told, I did what I told you not to do. So I'm just going to trim that part off. So, um, so now that should work just fine, and it does. And so, good. Luckily, I had that handy. So that is our base, and then this is the, the part that gets added on. Now, we're going to do a few things that are different this time than the other ones. I have several things cut. But he, and this is the background, the two and three fourths by five and a fourth. That's going to go right there. So I could use that one like that, or I could use the stripes, which I did before, or I could use this sort of sky one. I think I'm going to use the uh, two. I was going to ask you and have you vote and all that kind of stuff, but it takes a while. So I think I'll just I'll just do that and make that decision. And let me see once my adhesive is right here. like that and then on the bottom we're going to put the little strip the three fours what do you think now here we have um i've got i don't, I don't want to use that one and that's the tan on the other side here's the stripe which i think is nice or that one and the back is sort of it's not it's not tan it's called um gray granite i think not positive i think we'll use the stripe and um, where is my little, where did that go here? My silicone mat. Put that on. Let me see. see. Trying to find the comments again. They, they sort of, um, who else has, like, has, who else likes Barnes? Um, there we go. 
There's our basic card. And then this part is going to go on like this. So I'm gonna get my adhesive. Like that. Okay, and there we go. And this time I'm going to be putting it, oh, I think I'll put it right in the middle. I'll put it right in the middle. If I can get a nice, the other ones, there we go. And I'm gonna keep it closed and now I'm gonna just fold it like that. My magnets bracelet is hooking onto some of my paper clips. Okay, and um, so you, so we have one that's on the side like that, and then we have one that's sort of off to the side, and then we have this one that's completely in the middle. And you already saw the one with the barn on the other side. So now we're gonna take one of our labels. I like these a lot. Um, as you know, I've used them quite a bit um, from the contour die set in the annual catalog. I'm going to just put that on like this. There we go. And now we have some pieces. We better do our stamping first though. I've already done an envelope to show you how pretty that looks with that. And uh, we're gonna do our stamping. These labels that we're going to use today, they're from the uh, Lights of Glow set that's in our mini beautiful they're they're very messy to cut out all those holes but they are simply beautiful and i'm just gonna let's do that stamping right away and um let's see it's so it's photopolymer so we're gonna stamp on that and we've got our birthday sentiment that we can do and let's see sometimes the when you cut out two they stick so um they're not hard to poke out you can just I just use my take your pick tool and poke them like that if I one or two stick okay let's do that now navy some navy ink night of navy actually this this paper the sun print paper has both night of navy and starry sky wishing you the best birthday isn't that nice and then on the back what are we going to put on the back I can't remember oh you are amazing. Um, you could leave, you could do anything you want. One that comes in the tray chic is, these are the ones that come in. I'm gonna put it up high, just so that you have a few, you know, it's, this is perfect for not, if you don't like to write a lot, uh, you can just sign your name, love Corinne and Terry or whatever. Um, but if you like to write a lot, I would use a bigger label. So I think that's it. And we'll set that right there. And now we need to, um, we need to stamp some leaves. So we'll take our, our white paper. You know, the white paper has been out of stock ever since free shipping last week. And uh, it, it, and it said, we didn't know when it was coming back and we it was sort of panicky. Uh, let me get the leaves out now. And I have die cut the leaves. These are the, so one is the outline and one is the uh, inside. Let's see if I can find the leaves but um let's see they're in my little bag of goodies right here all the things that we're going to use so we will pull those out and so this time instead of die cutting the out in, in front of you and stamping in front of you i'm going to just do it this way and i didn't even put them in the stamparatus they're pretty easy to do but um we'll give it a shot i've got extras if we need to so um, so what I'm going to do, whoops, that one's got two there stuck together. I can't get them apart. There we go. And I'm going to take the first one, outline set, and I'm just going to put my head really right over it and stamp it like that. And again, I'm going to do the same thing, head over it, and you'll be able to, to do this quite easily. Um, anyway, the Whisper White cardstock. It's not Whisper White anymore. I'm sorry. Um, that's what we had before COVID. Um, now, 
the whisper the basic white i haven't said whisper white for two years basically now i'm starting it's called basic white now we have a different company making and it's wonderful it's a really great white and um oh that's not going to work very well um so i'm just going to use this grid paper to st i'm going to stamp off and now i'm going to stamp on it like that and it gives it a nice little look doesn't it really nice do the same thing and ink it up, stamp off twice, and then I'm going to, I know we don't have navy blue leaves, but um, in this pretend card, we do. So I just wanted to use this paper and I thought, I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, we ended up using navy blue leaves. I thought it was sort of, sort of striking. Um, I think that's all the stamping we have to do. So I'll put that away, close it up, and now we can assemble, I believe. Let's see. We're going to get our card out. And here are my bits and pieces. And the first thing I'm going to do is put my branch on. This branch is from Harvest. Nature's Harvest. I think it is gorgeous, especially out of copper. Um, really, really neat. So, I'm going. What I'm going to do is put some. I've got my little sponge. I did have my sponge. Let me see if I can find it. I had it all set up here. Here it is. I keep a a dauber that I use for gluing in a bag. Handy. So this is what I do. It's a sticky one. I keep it in a little plastic bag, so it's got a sticky end. And um, you can take your silicone mat like that, put a little bit of glue on it up here in the corner. And then you can, you can just dab it like this and put your branch on. This is a great way to, to put things on that are very detailed. Now, the best way in the world would have been to die cut it with um, the, you know, the, the adhesive sheets, but I always think of those when I'm doing it on live or something. So I'm going to just put it on like that, and that's going to be nice and flat. And then we're going to add some of our Move that over there. That just all that silicone mat's the best thing in the catalog. One of the best things in the catalog. Um, I love it. Now I'm going to just, uh, and then you can take it and wash it after. You can peel it off or just wash it. I'm going to put my leaves on like this, and just going to put it. I'm going to put one up sort of high like that. It's like arranging flowers. I'm going to use three of these. I'm going to put just, I'm just putting adhesive toward the bottom like that because I want them to be somewhat loose. This one's going to come a little lower. Putting them all down like you would tie a bow or something around an arrangement. And then I'm going to look at these copper. I also, I did some navy blue. You could put navy blue like that. That would be nice. But I like this copper look and I'm going to use, so I'm going to use that. So those are the copper. And, um, I think I'm going to come bring in my silicone mat again and do the do the glue technique. And I'm going to just I've got a little bit, need a little bit more there. Oh, I just see my fence, the fence from the other card. I found the wreath. I found the wreath and the fence all in this bag right there. They are all laid out for me. Uh, but they were right by my hand. So I'm just going to put a little bit of, I'm just going to dab that glue on like that. And it doesn't, st it, you know, it just peels off. It's so nice. I'm just going to do it on the lower half. And um, then I'm going to take my leaves and add them. So I always appreciate it. If any time that you're watching my videos, if you will like them, follow, subscribe. Those are all great things to do. I really appreciate it, especially when it's on YouTube. Um, and now I'm going to put my labels on. Um, it's on YouTube. I would love for you to subscribe and follow me. And uh, now where did my dimensionals go? Hmm. 
don't know. Don't know where they went, but we'll use a little dish of of these uh, pieces. Um, I have. My, I'm sure my dimensionals are right here, but we'll just use one of those little squares that I have. But anyway, I would love for you to follow me and, of course, shop with me. So I'm going to put this on right over there. You, you could have put a bow or something, but I just think that works out well. And let's see, once on the back, we're going to just um, cover up that spot right there, that seam, on our faux card. Don't you love how easy these are compared to if any of you have ever made the other style where you have to, oh, they were hard. They were really neat. They are very neat cards for sure. Um, but I think now that I've been making full cards, I will not ever make another real one because they just are much more time consuming. And there we have our card. And now should we put on copper uh, gems or the rhinestones? Oh, Lisa said she loves barns. I know it's they're just so fabulous. Let's see once now. We need some of the gems. Uh where where are the gems? Um, I also thought about using these little branches, but they were just a little heavy and they were gold. I didn't want to bring in the gold with the copper, so I don't I tend to not use copper very much. Um Oh, and here was another th thing I played with for a while. I had thought about using this on there. That's in the harvest, uh, nature's harvest, too. So, but let's see once now where our gems are. Here they are. What do you think? If you use amber or copper. Amber or copper. I don't know. There's the amber. I don't have many of those left. This is the copper. I think I'll use the copper. And this is what they look when they're brand new. You get gold. You get, uh, they're called brush metallic adhesive back dots. Very nice. And there we go. And we'll put, we're going to put one up there. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, actually, I'm not. I'm going to use the larger one down there. I like to use, it feels a little heavy otherwise to me. I'm going to put the, this one up here. And we're going to put another one down. They come in two sizes. We're going to put a small one right there. And we could put, um, we could have put it right there. Maybe, maybe I'll put it right there. I'm going to take that off. You can just sort of slide your pick tool. I think I'll do that. We'll put it right there. I like that better. Okay, that is our card. And here is the envelope um, to go with it. What do you think? Pretty fun, isn't it? I love this set. Just seemed like this paper is so striking. Just love it a lot. So, okay, let's turn our camera. Um, let's see, our turn our camera around. And so we can say goodbye in person. Here we go. Okay. Well, good. I hope you girls will try this. I will um, take pictures and uh, post those, and I'll have directions so you can go back, and you can always look at uh, either the Facebook place, we'll have the directions, or the YouTube site. So, And then be sure to like, follow, and subscribe, and thumbs up, and all those things. That all helps Facebook and YouTube with the analytics. I don't know how that all works. I don't even hardly know what the word analytics means. But anyway, um, I do appreciate you following me and, and, and all of that. So anyway, thank you very much. And I will see you next week. I have a, an idea already for next week. I'm excited about it because it's really a fun, easy card. And uh, oh, I have one I've thought of. I haven't thought of the second one yet, but that's what I'll, I'll do something next week again. And uh, we will see you um, next Tuesday. Thanks so much. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Have a great day.